Welcome to Dinya. We are here in this beautiful Polish port city today exploring around and what a better place to be than right here on this amazing Ferris wheel with this beautiful view over the amazing port itself. Let's go and explore Dinya. Come on. It's just a little bit windy up here. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Dinya is the third and final city in the Tri-Cities that we are checking out. We're actually very excited to check this place out. We genuinely thought that we would only have time to check out Dansk, um, just simply because of time restrictions and booking on Airbnb and stuff is getting a little bit expensive. Obviously, it's July and this is the go-to summer area destination in Poland. But we are very, very happy because all of the Tri cities are very easily accessible from a train we just basically got the intercity train over here and it literally takes just like 15 to 20 minutes from Dansk to get here on the train very cheap very accessible and check this beautiful place out we have nice weather today thankfully the last few days actually over the last week we've been getting a lot of summer storms so we've been sitting inside pondering about how we're going to get videos out but thankfully the sun is out and it's on our side today so let's go and check this place out more now at the moment here in Dinya you have an event going on which is called the sailing weeks so there's loads and loads of people here in the bay at the moment sailing on their boats around the bay and you have loads and loads of little kind of stages all over the harbor really um, with for example music there's a fun fair happening and loads and loads of things to do um, so i think it's gonna be an amazing day checking out the city of Dinya. Dinya is one of the youngest of the Tri-Cities, so you have Dansk, Sopot and Dinya, and Dinya is the youngest of the three of them, and it's also the youngest city in all of Poland, which makes it obviously a very modern city nowadays. Um, it is furthermore the main port, Baltic Sea port of Poland since World War I. Now there's three beaches that are worth talking about here in Dinya. There's Plaza Mieska or the main beach of Dinya. There's Plaza Orwowi, which is in the Orwowo area, which apparently has some incredible cliffs that you can go and check out really wild nature there. And then there's also Osada Ribaka, which is supposedly a pretty wild beach area where you can also go and check out pretty conveniently, I believe, from Dinya. Now, we just spent a few minutes wandering around the main beach of Dinya and it is a beautiful place. The beach is the beach itself is very clean and there's plenty of people out enjoying their day here. It is a very sunny and beautiful Saturday uh, afternoon so I can see why. Right here we have this incredible ship museum and it's called Statek Museum Dar Pomorza. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one correctly, but this is a very interesting ship that has certainly been through a lot in history. It actually circumnavigated around the world, uh, which took roughly around 12 months for it to complete. Also, during World War II, it was uh, in Stockholm in Sweden. It was also built in Hamburg, Germany, and it is a really beautiful looking ship for sure and I believe there's actually two of these ship museums and they are kind of the main pull or the main attraction for a lot of people visiting Denia. Actually just right next to that ship museum that I just spoke about there is another one right here and it appears to be like a destroyer ship or a ship that carried very a lot of artillery a lot of weapons um, and you can see that just at the front they have kind of these like turret guns or gatling guns at the front and it does look like a very strong uh, ship you do not want to mess with the people that are on board this vessel 
there definitely seems to be somewhat of a torpedo as well on the ship. Now, I have absolutely no idea about the history of this particular destroyer ship. If any of you guys do know, please let us know down below in the comments. We would love to hear more about this. Um, but it is very interesting, very beautiful looking as well. The same as the other ship. The other ship just appears to be quite a bit older, but this ship nonetheless is very beautiful. And it is also painted in a pretty interesting color as well. It is, by the way, I just read it there, you probably saw me in the back, um, it is the oldest preserved destroyer in the entire world. So, uh, and it was wow. active during World War II, so that's definitely very interesting. Wow. There you go, guys. Learn, this is why travel is the best education in the world. Um, and this is why we're so grateful to have been able to visit the Tri-Cities here in Poland, because we've learned so much just in the last hour of exploring around this amazing port city area. Being here in Denia on a busy Saturday afternoon uh, with this beautiful weather as well, it's truly just a good time, good vibe. Everybody's just enjoying themselves. There's plenty of different markets and things that you can buy souvenirs wise, or if you need some stuff for the beach like this stuff here, you're sorted. There's also this big sort of um, get together, as Naomi was saying, it is sailing week. Um, so there's plenty of action going on. There's so many different rides that you can go on. We saw some pretty crazy ones, but we kept it pretty tame by just taking the Ferris wheel. I have an awful fear of heights, so I'm definitely not going on any of the crazy adrenaline ones. And there's plenty of different places for you to grab a snack or a bite to eat. There's literally food stalls everywhere. And now we're gonna make our way towards a promenade area just past the main beach area. I just love hearing the people in the back screaming and enjoying their life. It's so <laughs> funny. Good time, good vibe. That's what I'm getting here from Dinya. always in most of our videos now here in Poland we're gonna just give you guys a real world view of what the place or destination that we're in looks like right now so check out beautiful Denia on a Saturday afternoon in July here you go guys There's plenty of places that you can go and grab yourself some nice, quick, fast food snacks. This uh, Fritki place, actually, there's plenty of those Fritki places. They seem to be very popular. And See a lot of people eating them um, at the moment, for sure, around the beach areas. And everywhere, all over Poland, you see uh, gofri Gofri, places. yeah, those waffles. So like Belgian waffles with like toppings, such as like ice cream, or maybe just cherries or fruit or something like that. Uh, yeah. You see them all over Poland. They seem to be really popular here. Yeah, we actually haven't tried one of those yet. So let us know if they're actually worth trying down in the comments, guys. But yeah, this is what Denia looks like right now. Plenty of people out and about enjoying their Saturday, especially this guy here. Aww. A corgi. Love 
So right now we are on Camiena Gura, which is a very long panoramic walkway just off of the coast here in Dinja. And you can really see loads and loads of ships going in and out of the main port here in Dinja. But you can also see all of the ships that are heading towards Dansk, which is really, really cool to see. I think it's a little bit of a pity that we were so unfortunate with the weather this week um, like the entire week that we were here as Luke already said it has been kind of raining on and off and even when it's not raining it is not that warm um, it has been kind of 20 to maybe 25 degrees Celsius for the last week uh, so we didn't really get the chance to enjoy being at the Baltic Sea and actually go for a swim. Uh, I believe there are probably a lot of people that do go for a swim, but for us uh, it was a little bit too cold, unfortunately. Now my first impressions of Dinja is that it is a very, very laid back city um, directly here at the Baltic Sea and I kind of feel like Gdynia has a lot to offer. So if you do love the ocean and just spend some time by the sea, um, this is definitely the place for you. Um, what I really appreciate about Dinja is that you also have the options to enjoy the city life. So you do have larger malls and uh, just like the general city here as well. So it is not only a laid back town by the sea, you can also enjoy the city life of it. What do you think about Gdynia? I love it. I think it's, um, we went and we checked out Sopot um, just yesterday actually. So you probably, if you haven't already, I hope you've checked out our Sopot video and our Dansk video as well. This is our third and final tri-city, as I said, and Dinja definitely gives off a new modern style vibe um, when you compare it to places such as Dansk. Dansk obviously has quite a detailed history and you will find quite a lot of historical buildings in Dansk. And what I'm finding is the more sort of away from Dansk towards Sopot, towards Dinja, you find less and less history and more modernization, more sort of buildings that are specifically geared towards tourism and towards, you know, attracting people to come to the Baltic Sea and to enjoy um, specific uh, seasons such as the summer now. And you can see that it's definitely doing its job, Dinja, has certainly attracted a lot of people. We're hearing a lot of tourists speaking English, French, German, etc. Scandinavians as well, all over the place here. Um, similar, we saw the same in Sopot. So they're definitely doing the right job. Uh, the tourist um, offices, I'm sure, are working hard at promoting these specific areas. And you can see what uh, is attracting people here. You do have beautiful beaches. Obviously a lot of the sand is sort of put there, man-made, but the beach, it's, beach itself is impeccably clean, the one that we saw anyways here in Dinja. Um, for me, if I was to pick a favorite out of the Tri-Cities, I immediately would pick Sopot. Um, that's just being my honest opinion. I would put Sopot first. Then next up, I would probably put Dansk. And last place actually would be here. There's no specific reason for that. It's just a general feeling, a general vibe. This promenade and everything around here is fantastic. But I think when you compare it to the history in a place such as Dansk, the things that you can do in Dansk, um, and then similarly in Sopot, I believe in Sopot there is, just in general, it gives off a slightly more um, attractive vibe for me, personally speaking. Let us know uh, what you think. What's your favorite out of the Tri-Cities? But that is my list. What's your list? Um, my list would probably be Dansk in number one as well, but just because I'm very much, as you probably know by now, into history and uh, historic architecture, so older buildings and stuff like that. So that's why I put Dansk in number one. Number two, I would probably put Dinja and number three, Sopot. Um, but Dinja and Sopot are pretty much on the same level, actually, for me. I just feel like um, 
a lot of people in Sopot kind of have a lot of money and it is kind of the place to be um, if you're more on the affluent side uh, in terms of your wallet uh, and if you like Gdynia <laughs> is a little bit more um, for regular people which I feel like makes it very charming. Yeah, 100% so make sure if you haven't already this is why we're making these videos from Poland guys. A lot of people live in Europe and I'm myself, I'm European, Naomi, European. <laughs> we're both European citizens and you get a lot of these typical travel destinations during the summertime, such as Spain and Portugal and Greece, etc. You can, the list goes on forever, but very rarely does any of my family, friends, etc., acquaintances say, they never really say, oh, I'm going to go to the Baltic Sea in Poland for the summer. And I suppose why we're making these videos is just to give you guys a specific insight into what people like us, how we would view these specific areas when you're comparing them to other places that we have available to us. There's a reason why we came to Poland and that's because we are genuinely curious about why not that many other Europeans are coming here, such as somewhere like Spain, for example. But I feel like that's generally a pretty big topic in our, on our channel anyway. Um, we're usually trying to go to the places where people would not necessarily pick it as their number one, uh, such as Poland, such as Albania, such as the backlands of Mexico, where we were before. And I feel like we're just trying to give these places a little bit more of exposure and really show you guys what these cities have to offer. Now, Denia is obviously a lot more than just a pretty port with some nice beautiful beaches there's plenty of shopping that you can do while you're here in Denia as well and this is one of the main shopping streets called Ulica Svetojanska all the way down here you just have rows and rows of beautiful shops lots of shopping malls and it stretches all the way down here as well we actually started the day off in a mall a nice big mall and we had ourselves a Polish buffet as well so don't think that you're going to be short on things to do when it comes to shopping etc here in Dinia there's plenty so that was our first impressions of Gdynia um, this station that we're in now the Dworczyk it's very old very cool looking uh, but yeah that's it from us for today. My name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the Two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you in the next video guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.